Don't mind me. I'm just eating food right now. I had to jump on this as soon as possible. One of the one of my favorite YouTubers. One of the go to YouTube C reacts. Got to play Spark and Zero early. Lucky bastard. But um I need to react to this. Okay. I need to see what's going on, bro. I'm gonna do all in my ability to maybe try to bring you guys some exclusive shit at some point. Um I'm gonna just we do need, all we I need can. a high Radio quality, Z. baby. Mission complete. Oh. I was invited out to Summer Games Fest Play Days, where I got the unique opportunity to be one of the first people on planet Earth to play Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. That's and despite fire. being a limited demo and only having 30 minutes to record anything, I must say it was amazing and I was extremely sad right when I had Come on, quality. Okay, kick in, bro. Lock in, bro. Lock in, bro. I have to stop playing because I, I wanted more. I traveled far and wide to get my hands on this exclusive footage for you guys. All I ask in return is a little subscription and maybe a like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, I already did both. My first experience. I already did both. loading into the one versus CPU mode, you're given the opportunity to actually decide which control scheme you want to use. They have the standard controls, but then they also have these classic controls. The I'll classic controls classic. being more familiar to people who actually played the 10 Yeah, I'll probably be using the classic that. controls. Actually, I went with the classic mode. Yeah, you got to. Standard mode look like like hieroglyphics to me then we get to the character <laughs> select mode you'll see that there's only three slots for your team but don't worry this was just in the demo version in the full version it no. should be 5v5 you oh, see all no. of these different characters but i know what a lot of people are going to say right off the bat the character select screen looks like a bit of fluff because each transformation has its own character slot now i don't inherently think that's a problem but i would definitely prefer more of the uh, tenkaichi 3 style where you click on the character and then all of that character's mm. perspective transformations would then pop up for I you agree. to choose from in my personal opinion now we're not going to to all of the characters here but uh yeah you can kind of see how things are distributed along the character select screen now a character that is both hype and a character i'm looking forward to hey. was none other than that's hilarious they got goku dead on you <laughs> bro they got dead goku on here we get goku me it let's go for me it bro and then we got Goku and, and then we got Goku Super. Yo, putting Halo on Goku is crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie. And they got Dead Vegeta, too. Character select screen. Now, a character that is both hype and a character I'm looking forward to was none other than Broly. So, this is actually my very first match ever in Sparking Zero. Right from the character select screen, you go immediately into the battle intros, which is sick. Just look at the animations. Every character intro looks pretty sick from what I've seen so far. Bro. Bro, you such a way with words. Whatever my late father's done to you and yours, it's not my problem to deal with. Obviously, we have character interaction between these two, so immediately I start by seeing what from Tenkaichi 3 translates, and immediately I see that the square into triangle or square square into triangle sort of standard combo routes from Tenkaichi 3 uh okay. definitely translated over at least at a core fundamental level now i'm gonna for the most part just let this fight rock with some commentary in the background uh and then i'm gonna do a more in-depth analysis of certain things that happen in the fight you can already see vegeta got battle damage after taking the super attack and the map just looks so gorgeous i know i was just finna say that bro oh, look at the goddamn graphics oh my gosh this isn't even the highest quality picture right here and it still looks absolutely gorgeous bro holy fuck definitely goodness gracious fundamental level uh and vegeta got battle damage after taking the super attack and the map just looks so gorgeous i know i'm just kind of like glazing the game right now but even when i was playing this for the first right for glaze uh i was just stunned by how good it looked and how fluid everything felt valid so valid transform which is just r3 and then you you know tap which direction you want to go obviously we're going to progress up to that legendary super saiyan but we're just going to start at his regular super saiyan and uh you know just kind of go crazy something i noticed is super armor activated um as you can see vegeta can no longer stagger me uh and there goes a super right there the skies went black when i went full baller and then you know we're gonna take it up to the next level right away into the legendary super saiyan and once again just like in tenka and vegeta decides to return the favor by the way vegeta cannot stagger me see i'm putting
If the, yo, it feels like if it, it, it feels like I'm watching an actual anime fight, bro. Like actual Dragon Ball Z, like actual Dragon Ball fight. That's what this feels like right now, bro. Into the legendary Super Saiyan. And once again, just like in Tenka and Vegeta decides to return the favor, by the way. Vegeta cannot stagger me. See, I'm putting up my guard just like instinctively. Like, oh, he's punching me. I better put my guard up. But he can't even budge me anymore because like I, I've reached such a high level. Now that camera movement was a little jank there. Uh, but again, we're early in the demo. Boom, throw out a super. I missed that. And Vegeta just stares at me and uh, asks, bro, are you serious? I wanted to go for a cool finish here, but I didn't realize how low Vegeta's health was. Uh, so unfortunately, he's just going to die to these hands. Dang. And just watch this outro. This is probably the coolest outro. Like, look at this. What? Like, for what? For what? Jo -jo! Now, I just want to point out a couple in-depth things before we move on to the next fight. I just love how alive the maps feel just based off of everything being destructible. Not literally, literally bro. everything, but just like things just blowing up around you as you fly by, buildings getting destroyed by blasts. It just adds so much to the uh, intensity and sort of ambiance of the fight. Also, I'm curious what you guys think about uh, characters getting battle damaged close kind of relatively quickly just based off of one super attack. But I will say this, there is another level of battle damaged, and I'll show that in a different fight. But I know Vegeta can get even more battle damaged than this. So I think there's actually levels to the battle damage. So like he could actually get even more banged up than what you see right here. Now, I don't want this whole video to just be me like, it's flawless, there's nothing wrong with it. Even though that may be how my heart feels, <laughs> this camera movement right here felt a little jarring. And I do want to yeah, emphasize that, is that this is a demo. This yeah. is, you know, Summer Games Fest where months All that, yeah. the release. So all that'll probably be fixed. That I'm talking yeah. about could easily be fixed in the yeah. future. But yeah. just something worth- More than likely all that be fixed. It come out in October. Kind of like force the camera to kind of go crazy for a second. Another thing is I know that the fight seemed relatively fast, but something that we should keep in mind is at the start of the fight, we only have three health bars, but it looks like there's a max capacity of seven. So that means at its grand scale, every fight between individual characters will be more than double the length of this fight right here. And that's not even including the fact that you can do up to 5v5 when the game comes out. So you you can really get into some all-out wars with your homies when this game comes out let me know what you guys think about that because seven health bars 5v5 characters but anyway that pretty much wraps up the broly versus vegeta fight let's jump into the next fight that i did and then obviously there's going to be even more in the future so subscribe what are you doing all right so um, bro i feel like my this video not like my it's, it's like this is video that's doing that but i feel like his quality is better than this though Cause even like his face cam looking like kind of like i don't know bro i think you guys know where i gotta go vegeta is my favorite character of all time Maj me too specifically has always been one of the coolest versions of vegeta ever and facts obviously we gotta pit him up against fat boo and uh you know just jump straight into it look at the beginning sequence for vegeta i'm telling you all of them have crazy animations look at this yes! hey. oh my god a fanboy, I remember every scene from the anime. Oh, yo, yo. So they just decided, bro. Bro. They just went to the Duffy, bro. They went deep into the Duffy, bro. They went deep and deep into the Duffy bag, bro. Oh, my. Look at how it just transitions into it, bro. Look. I'm telling you, all of them have crazy animations. Look at this. Oh, my God. Yes. Bro. Oh my god, as a fanboy, I remember every scene from the anime and they If you if you if you don't listen, I'm sorry. If you don't like what you see so far and you call yourself a Dragon Ball fan, you're no longer a Dragon Ball fan. I'm sorry. This is just too crisp. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't see so this anime and they caught it. <laughs> and then we got Fat Boo. Who's angry but simultaneously happy, but that's just in character. All right, and again, everything you see, this is my second match ever on Spark and Zero. I'm just seeing what carries over from Tenkaichi, and I try my go to combo in Tenkaichi, which is the trip right here into the up. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. 
into the yep. combo into the kick down and it just worked oh it just worked like it's genuinely tenkaichi and that is so exciting to me because i didn't know how much of the essence they were going to capture but it really just like i straight from tenkaichi i can just play this game to some extent getting my timing down uh, and then uh, we get counter hit i forget exactly what it's called but there is a counter hit that uh boo did that all characters have access to atomic Ooh. blast but it's called something else in this game hit him in the sternum final way. impact final impact's what it's called in this game who already feeling some damage about to hit me with this grab except i ain't gonna let that happen come on now go on now i'm too good at the video game uh, uh a lot of vanishing this is already feeling fast paced but as you can see i didn't realize his health was so low i was so sad because i didn't <laughs> want to hit him with final explosion look at the outro <laughs> and here i was hoping you'd be a lot tougher than that check this out i'm gonna show you no how i don't want to check this out give me back to my video okay, stop ready? no stop Again, we're in a demo. His mouth didn't really move there, but still, I mean, this fight was sick just because this was kind of the fight where I realized that I'm just playing Tenkaichi. The only thing that made me sad is I didn't hit him with Final Explosion, but just as a reminder, I would have gone back in and just like did Final Explosion real quick just to get the uh, the footage of it. But remember, we were on a 30 minute time crunch. We like sat down and then they were like, okay, press record. You have 30 minutes and then you're out of here and you're not gonna play this game for months. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, as can my internet lock in, bro? Oh my gosh! Gracious as I was for the opportunity to play, I was on rush mode and try to like get as much random characters as I possibly could in the video. So the main thing that I want to show from this fight, in terms of going into depth, is this little go-to combo. Like, let me just show footage of me doing this exact combo in Tenkaichi, and then you can see that I'm literally just—it's. My same bro. buttons the same info bro, my bro my internet finna piss me the fuck off bro come on bro lock in gang lock in bro hang on bro hang on this is this gonna blow me all right bro here on sparking zero yep that's what i was thinking about yep mink 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 yep if you really did play Tenkaichi like yeah, that, like you already seen, yeah. Home, yeah. Zero feels good. Yeah. Even. I'm, I, I'm depressed that I can't play it right now. I'm not going to lie. Like, playing it hurts because now I can't. Now I can't. Now I'm sad. But that's pretty much going to wrap it up for our first Sparking Zero exclusive gameplay. An emphasis on first because there's going to be so many more and they might already be out by the time that you're seeing this. Who knows? But if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of this exclusive gameplay, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you want to drop a like, I'd also appreciate that. Not to end on too crazy of a cliffhanger. One of these fights that I recorded was actually insane. Just the visual spectacle really just showed what Sparking Zero is going to be like. And I can't not wait to show you that one hint it has to do with goku and vegeta make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one i'm gonna try to drop these as soon as possible i was just really excited to get this one up in particular because it's the first one goodbye my outro is playing now ah shit it's time to start my second i need it